If you have a diagnosed MTHFR mutation, there's some important dietary considerations to make. So I've explained all about MTHFR mutations and their potential risks in a previous video that you can find on the channel. And in this video, I want to look at the nutrition aspects, which are actually the most important. Foods to avoid if you have a bad MTHFR mutation is not clear cut. It's commonly thought that antacids, some blood pressure medications, metformin for type 2 diabetes, and contraceptives may all inhibit dietary absorption of folate and other B vitamins to some extent. But that's not proven by any means. So if you regularly take any of these, you must seek personalized health advice from your doctor before you decide to change anything. More importantly, let's look at the foods that you should be eating more of. And I'll start by saying this, the importance of folate cannot be overstated. Actually, I'm gonna play that back again because it's worth repeating. The importance of folate cannot be overstated. This is especially important if you have an MTHFR mutation because you may not be converting folate into its active form very efficiently. And the more folate you consume, the more opportunities you give your body to create the active form. Studies have even shown that a folate-rich diet can match the homocysteine lowering effects, the heart protective effects of either a regular folic acid supplement or even supplementing its active form. Now the message to eat more folate should definitely not be confused with consume more folic acid, which is the supplemental form of folate. If you want more details, you can visit the diet versus disease link in the description or in the, the YouTube card on screen. But in essence, although both of both are forms of vitamin B9, they're metabolized quite differently. Okay, so according to nutrition data, the best sources of folate per 100 gram serving are beans and lentils, raw spinach, asparagus, romaine or cos lettuce, broccoli, avocado and oranges and mangoes. Now I've included those fruits there as a reference guide because we're often told that they're a great source of folate. There's a couple things that conventional nutrition got wrong, sure, but there's a whole lot more that they got right. Eating more leafy greens and more legumes is one such example. In fact, anybody telling you not to eat legumes, if you're otherwise healthy and you tolerate them well, is wrong. There are several other important nutrients for folate metabolism to consider that I won't go into right now. Uh, they are vitamin B2, B6, and B12. You can find more information about them in the links in the description. The bottom line here really is that we all need to be eating more natural folate, MTHFR mutation or not. So that means eating more green leafy vegetables and more legumes every single day. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and a share. And if you want loads more information uh, about this topic, you can click the link in the description.